Hey guys, and welcome back to the Tanan Jungle, we're going to continue my little LP of the zone, and while this is the, uh, pretty much the same character I was on last time, as it turns out, uh, no, all our characters got wiped, so we're back, we're at the exact same location, and we've got Khadgar, or Kadadjur, uh, as I've uh, heard him be called, and uh, yeah, he's going to continue being a bit of a cold bastard and getting many people needlessly killed. So, we cannot hide here forever. Oh, shit, I should have, uh, I should have read that quest. We shall read the quest. I only see one way out of this trap, Paladinular. God damn it, I've got such a bloody dumb name. Anyway, and it's right through the middle of that arena. This might be the end of us. Yeah, so a little bit of a logic problem here, Kadgar, or Kadadjur, as I'm going to call you from now on. Uh, yeah. I mean, really? Uh, the, the, like, Kargath Bladefist is right o Oh, thank you, camera. He's right over there! He's just gonna walk through his, his arena and just get, get killed. Weird. Also, I'm... Wow, look. Has he got, like, a thing in his belt? Look at his belt vibrate. Ugh. Kargath is a messy, messy man. Right, so a uh, little bit of a problem here. As you can see, these orcs are getting wrecked. Um, yeah, I, I don't really know if this was the, the best choice of all by our, our good friend Kagar. Now, all the, um, like, mob killing and stuff here is pretty much shared, which is cool. It would be a tad mental if it wasn't, and yeah, we have to kill 100 things, but the NPCs, like, look at Murad. This guy's just doing work. I mean, what, if these guys have got, like, what, uh, 16k health? Yeah, Murad is absolutely kicking arse. Three-shotting them like an absolute damn boss. Ah, Murad. I want to see more of that guy, actually. Uh, he's pr pretty prominent in Shadow Moon Valley, you know, uh, chilling out and stuff, but I haven't really finished that zone yet. I haven't seen him sort of come into a zone. Um, just with my storylines going and stuff like that, so that'll be cool to see. Anyway, so this is actually a fun enough little zone, and there's lots of little, like, quests like this going on. Did I just see some crazy-ass laser beam come from, uh, Fatiid? I, I think I did. I don't know, is that, like, a new major build or spell effect? Damn, that was really cool. At least I think it was. I mean, it was there for about two frames, so... Chances are I won't be able to, uh, you know, really discern it that well. So I've actually done this stuff before in my stream. I did it maybe two nights ago as of the time of this video going up. And, uh, yeah, you can check out my stream link in the... <laughs> we got no time for that, bitch! We leave it! Oh, whoa, what? Yeah, so here's a bit of a problem. And, um, yeah, but anyway, Kagar ain't got no time for that. If he could have just done this and, uh, you know, frozen the... The clean bollocks off everyone, then why the hell did we not do that back at the Dark Portal when you could have saved um, a force of armed combatants that's like three times larger than what we have? I mean, come on, we've got a bunch of strapping young Draenei in their mini gimp suits. I, come on, we... Khadgar. I, you know, I, I've got to question a lot of this chap's tactical chops, and I do not know why we are here with him. I mean, sure, he is the time guy. He does have Atiesh, a great staff of the Guardian, a.k.a. a small stick, what he found on the ground. And, uh, yeah, so, I don't know, Kagar. I don't think I trust you. Anyway, we're in these mines. A little bit of an odd thing. Oh, by the way, this is actually kind of awesome. Some of those new spell effects are really cool. And poor old Kargath... I think you just saw him bend over and cry there um, for a little bit before it got completely obscured. Anyway, so let's get our quests. Uh, eventually. It seems like the servers are a lot more stable at the minute, which is pretty nice. So we must protect the winded, pri winded, the wounded prisoners and make sure Kargath doesn't get through the rubble. You must go ahead and clear the cave. Fair enough. Um... I'm just, I'm not going to bother reading these little small quests, actually. I'll just sort of read the, you know, the big important stuff from good old Kadadger. Anyway, so we're going to meet a character that uh, a lot of you may have heard of with some of uh, Blizzard's marketing material. And uh, it is year old, but hey, uh, I should really not, uh, you know, pull a Johnson and find darn NPC first. Uh, now, music currently isn't working in here. At least that's what it appears to be. Either that or there's no music, and I highly doubt that. Am I doing damage here? I'm, I'm hearing swings. Ah, yeah, there's still some kind of general bugginess going on, and oh, look, it's... It's Tayeril. Now, for some reason, we automatically get completion of that element of the quest. So, really strange there. But, hey, whatever. Let's keep on... Let's keep on trucking now. This is a little bit of a boring quest. We need to kill 12 of these orcs. Which is fine, I suppose. This commander's dead, and Ner'zhul will surely come looking for us. Yes, indeed. Ner'zhul is... Well, he's pretty important in the Iron Horde. I don't want to spoil his story stuff, but that guy's got some serious stuff going on in the Shadow Moon Valley, and we may be a bit screwed if we don't stop him. It's a good thing that, of course, we know we will stop him, because that's how stories work. 
it's funny, you know, like how we're able to suspend our disbelief for long enough because at the end of the day, in the vast majority of games and things, you do win and they don't really pull too many surprises on you. Anyway, so this one's actually nowhere near as busy as it usually is. That's kind of bizarre. I mean, it's usually absolutely bunged in here. I remember last night, it was absolutely insane trying to run the stream. And it took me about three hours to get through a 40-minute quest experience. And actually, I think I just gave up at the end. No, I didn't give up. What actually happened is it kind of broke. And it wouldn't teleport me into Shadowman, so I just kind of left. Plus, I was worried that my CPU was about to melt. But that problem has since been fixed. Now, a little pro tip for when these quests come out. Uh, just kill the Void Wolves. They still give you credit, and they are far easier to kill. Which is pretty awesome. Um... Yep, Yurl's making herself useful. I should actually stop being a bit of a silly old uh, knob and kill the damn NPCs that we're supposed to kill. So this one's Ungra. What does Ungra do? Show me your mechanics. So far, she's very good at dying and falling over, and that appears to be just about it. A little bit disappointing there. And there's probably some Taskmaster that we have to kill here, but I actually am not seeing him. Because uh, supposedly, Ungra was the Taskmaster. Ah, crap. Have we ran into some sort of bug? I don't like it when bugs happen. Well, hey, if you see me speed up this video, then you'll know, won't you? Um, oh. Alright, hello, your old Khadgar and friends. You have magically teleported over here. That, that is fine. Alright, so there's the Taskmaster. It would just appear that they've mislabeled that. Oh, OMG, Blaze. I'm quitting the game. I've had enough of this shit. Right, let's kill this guy. Right now, it seems like Rhett's actually pretty strong, from what I've noticed. Um, well, at least I've been finding soloing very easy, and I feel like I'm doing a lot of damage. Oh, I thought we uh, logged out there, so a little bit of a problem here. I'm standing in the fire quite blatantly. Look how much damage I've taken. Not that much. That really disappoints uh, disappoints me, actually. You know, I, I would like it if when a mob does a big ability like that, you actually had to not stand in it because it's a little bit silly, you know? it's They just kind of throw away any possible like mechanical depth and interestingness when, uh, you know, instead of trying to avoid standing in the evil cone of doom, death, and destruction, you can just yellow swag mode and uh, stand inside it, do more deeps, and just kind of ignore the mechanic. I just don't think it should be that way. I really don't. Anyway, so now we need to talk to Exarch Maladar. One of Nerzul's lieutenants remains up there. Um, up ahead, even. The exit to the cave is much further past him. I will go back and tell Khadgar that the cave is clear. We will rendezvous once you have taken care of him. Alrighty. Let's go kill this guy, Keldon the Breaker. This is, is a problematic dude, probably. What's going on here? I see lots of totems. I do not see many Keldars, though. I also see, oh. oh. Now, you see, there's two A's there. And that means it's a Draenei name. Hmm. God, God, that really? Though I suppose look at the dumb name my character has. I mean, come on, I, I can't really talk. Right, uh, is this Keldon guy even going to appear? Wow. Holy shit, I'm taking 202 damage a second. Ah, the pain, the pain. <laughs> Flash of light, lol. Which is healing me for about 4 to 7k. Oh, there he is. Well, at least we've got attack on him, though I think the attacking and all that stuff shared nowadays. Which is nice in these big mobs. You know, I remember way back in the Burning... Not the Burning Crusade. Uh, the one after that. The, the Wrath of that, uh, that Lich King. Yeah, um, uh, the very first quests there were insane in my server. There were like... Maybe 200 people. Again, look at this. I'm not taking much damage here. That's just really unfortunate. I can just stand here and lich. Like, what I'm doing right now is I'm just sort of mashing my hand across the thumb pad of my naga. I'm not actually following the mechanics because there's no need to. I still win regardless. So this is a very shiny portal. And Blizzard wants you to know. Oh, whoa. It says feckin' Nerzul. Um, it's an interesting staff he's got. For a second, it looked like a lump of meat in a stick. Oh, like some sort of like crazy kebab. <laughs> You're scurrying, is that an end, rats? Ho oh, ho! Not so fast, Nerzul. Yeah, step closer, I'll bury you. You see, bury you alive for the glory of the Iron Horde and stop scampering, you rats. Not really sentences that I think really should come together. Anyway, the good news about Khadgar is once again he's had a convenient trick up his sleeve to completely save us all. Again, he probably should have used that back when people were dying. But no, it's Khadgar. I think he just, he like found all the people in the expedition that he didn't like and uh, then he just sort of decides to let them all, you know, accidentally die. Anyway, where is Khadgar? Oh, wow, they're all dead. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez, right, let's talk to the guy. Job in the cave, uh, 
Fine job in the cave, but there is no time to rest. We have momentum. We must stay in motion. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, I'm, it's weird. I'm kind of like, I'm really tired at the minute, and some of that text just appears blurry to me, which is strange because my vision's usually pretty solid. Anyway, there's nowhere to hide up here. We need to keep moving, and to do that, we need to pass right through the heart of the Iron Horde. <laughs> Why, of course. It's time to turn this unarmed group of prisoners into an army. Obtain 30 Black Rock weapons. All right, I don't really ca call 30 an army. I mean, that's not even like... At Roman standards, that's what, two of... Well, two and a little bit of the units, like the smaller units they had, isn't it? Yeah. TLDR, it's not a very big army, and we're probably screwed. You know, because uh, this Iron Horde's very savage. Still, as cynical as I may be to a lot of this stuff and the Cadgar things, it does feel pretty badass. It does feel Warcrafty. It's just, I think some of the inconsistencies with Cadgar's use of magic are sometimes just a little bit jarring in terms of the lore. So, I think... Uh, it's the kind of thing you nearly want to point out because it can maybe get a cheap gag off in a video and some people like that and it's sort of fun to do videos like that, I guess. Um, yeah, but I wish Blizzard would keep stuff like that in mind a little bit more than they currently do. I wonder if this still has the crazy Frostfire lava that kills you. Yeah, look at that. The lava does 10k damage a second. That's, that's pretty legit lava. It's kind of weird these days in the game where, like, you fall into lava and you start taking, like... 300 damage a second. You're literally burning to death, but you're you're regenerating your health faster, <laughs> idly, than you're actually you know getting burnt by lava, by lava. Ah, jeez, right. Let's kill this uh, this fire dude and the forge guy. Once again, not really a great amount of challenge here. I'm in item level 500 gear, so basically, like for most of the Pandaria gear from your current character, you'll be fine. Perhaps some of this will be a little bit tricky if you're coming in at like. Item level, what what would be the item level of like 420 perhaps? Yeah, I'd say if you're if you're going in, you know, at 420, you're not really paying attention to things, and you've just you know leveled up through the dread wastes. You per 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 person, ooh, dread wastes. And um, but yeah, if you're on item level like 420, perhaps some of this stuff will be a little bit tricky, and that's why it's currently tuned the way that it is. Um, yeah, still in general for some of the warlord zones. Like, I have found that just the damage levels aren't really enough, so i definitely like them to increase that. Anyhow, let's keep on killing. We've nearly got there. Uh, come on, hopefully this... Okay, that weapon rack is just glowing for no reason. It's... Oh, you tease. Damn it. Right, let's, uh, let's get going. I like the way that some of these quest items are outlined. It's just a nice little usability feature that they've added. And uh, I, I guess maybe some people would be pissed at that because it would, like, decrease immersion or something. Honestly, in a game that ends up being so expressly, like, system and UI driven, like, wow, I think it's fine. And it's just a convenience thing, honestly. The same goes for the little, um, these mouse overs. I think they're really cool. And also, it's just it's kind of dead handy for d just determining who you're actually targeting, which is nice. All right, great work. Don't put away your weapon yet. Now is when the real work begins. Hell yeah. Um, I wonder if the, no, our armor actually isn't changing there. Hey, look, new human female model, which uh, honestly is one of the models I think is looking pretty cool. I'm just surprised that Blizzard actually did an okay job with it. Oh, it is. Uh, Blackhand Warlord Blackhand. Blackhand Leader of the Black Rock Orcs. Uh, that's just a little intro thing. So, what good are a handful of slaves against the Black Rock War Machine? Black Rocks cross them. You see, indeed. There's no bloody way we can do this. Oh, well. <laughs> you three, follow me. I... I thought Kagar just said, I have a pain. I have a pain, you guys. Ah, oh, it's sore. Anyway, let's uh, let's slaughter off these black rock grunts. They are dicks. We do not like them. Oh, hello. What about she? Orgron of War Crusher. I wonder what the lore behind the Orgron are. I guess we'll find out during the expansion. I, yeah, probably. Again, look at him use his big smash, and it does hardly anything. Just, you know... When someone can legitimately look at your game mechanic and just kind of be like, ah, Kappa, then I don't really think that's an indication that you've done a particularly good job of things. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. Let's stop bitching about that and kill Black Rock grunts. Things are dying very quick here. It's not because of anything OP. It's just I've got a whole bunch of NPCs helping me, and they're actually doing a sizable enough amount of damage. So that's nice. 
Or maybe they're doing a sizable enough amount. Yeah, well, they managed to kill it. If you're wondering, by the way, we've got um, Cordana thingy Jigger, who is a a person who is involved with uh, with things. Wow. Uh, she's one of the Night Elf Watchers, that's it. Uh, yeah, she, like, you know, the whole Jailing Illidan thing, and it seems like they've transitioned over into fighting demons and that kind of thing. We've got Lady Leodrin, who is the leader of the Blood Elf Paladins, and finally, uh, Quia Moon Shadow. Now, she's actually the first person that Alliance players will get in their garrison. Essentially, once you found the garrison, it, like, you get a quest that's like, Hey, Quiel has got herself into trouble, you should go free her. And then that officially adds her as a follower. The same thing goes on for that um, guy, something Umberhide, or Umberhide. Um, he's the Tauren guy that, of course, the orcs get um, as their first garrison follower. It's pretty nice the way they've done that, though. Like, all of your garrison followers have got some little story behind them, and I think that really is cool. It sort of helps with immersion and all that. So, definitely nice to see. Alright, so we just need to kill a few more orcs, which should not be too much of a bother. You know, it's weird, like, I'm so used to having the garrison call to arms feature um, for doing this kind of thing that it just sort of feels slow killing things normally. But still, I mean, the stuff's just falling to pieces real quick. It's just nice. The one thing I'll say is that when I was doing this on the beta when it first came out, Damn, it was very hard to do this quest because so many things were just dying, you know, so quickly. It was impossible to get things tagged. And, uh, well, yeah, I, I don't know. Things are better now. Though I'd imagine that things are going to be a little bit just completely balls-to-the-wall mental. And when we move on to the, uh, like, the actual launch of the game, like, could you imagine maybe 2,000, 3,000 people flying through here? Like, I'd imagine that if a server's got a population of, say... What, 80,000 characters on a certain faction? Well, maybe if, like, that could end up being, what, 8,000 people? If everyone's got, uh, you know, 10 characters each? More? You know, maybe if they've only got 5,000 characters each, or 5,000 characters each. Maybe people have, on average, only got 5 characters each, then, you know, we've got even more people. So, yeah, just imagine, like, a good few thousand people trying to ram their way through this at once. It could be a bit crazy. Um, so I don't know if they're going to phase this or anything like that. Currently, it's completely, like, uninstanced or unfazed, whatever. Like, everyone's just thrown in at once. Which is a bit strange, honestly, because it does feel like more of a personal story. There's Drek'thar. Our good friend Drek'thar. And, uh, this is... Well, this is Kagar once again using his supreme power. It is kind of cool, though, seeing insane use of magic that's just like, Boom, we made a thing explode, and there's explosions, and water flew out, and... It's just nice, you know, there's lots of cool stuff going on there. So, with Khadgar doing that, he really... I mean, I just, I've lost all my pizzazz. I think he really put a dampener on the video. <laughs> Did you see the joke what I made? <laughs> um, no, that was just a really nice and uh, sort of suave segue for me to close the video, because it's been 17 minutes, and uh, I don't want to upload something that will uh, take out my internet for the entire day at once. So, thank you very much for watching. Look at all this stuff, there's the portal. There's the Kadadger. No, wait, where'd Kadadger go? Ah, you guys, Kadadger's gone. Right, well, I'm going to go off and find Kadadger. While, uh, while I'm doing that, you guys just go and uh, subscribe to basically every channel and everything I do. Watch every single video, and uh, hey, it'll be awesome. Anyway, cheers for watching, and I will see you all next time.